Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, I'm going to be doing another review of these beautiful Marianne nails and it's plate 122. If you've missed any of my reviews of these beautiful plates uh, that have been so kindly sent to me, I've got a playlist so you can find them all on there once they're up. Uh, I think the playlist is up now. So I absolutely love this plate. I am a sucker for these type of images. Um, they're just beautiful. And I love how the fact that you kind of got it so you can put it on one finger, uh, you know, one on the left hand, one on the right hand, or both together. So I'm just gonna get straight into the tutorial. I will leave all details and links in the description box below. Isn't that just so beautiful? It's just gorgeous. It kind of reminds me a bit of like a peacock feather like near the edge. So then I'm going to do the opposite version. What I love about these designs are they're absolutely perfect just to have it stamped like that. See that's showing you it all both together so that's how it looks. Um, but then they're going to be amazing for advanced stamping and uh, you know, with all the little intricate details and things that you can fill in, they're just beautiful. Okay. So I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to show this because I didn't know whether you're going to want to see the exact same um, like colour being used for both of the designs and, and see them together or whether you just wanted them random, but I kind of went for this because it gives you a good idea of how it's going to look together but it's just so pretty and so easy to stamp. It's beautiful. I found with this plate, it was much, you got a much better um, transfer if you kind of rolled it on to the stamper as opposed to placing it. Normally you can do either, whereas when I decided, when I tried to do it like directly, it didn't kind of come out uh, that well. So I just thought I would mention that. It is better to roll it. I mean, you can just place it on the nail that way once it's on the stamper, but to get it onto the stamper, it was much better rolling. So I cannot wait to start playing with these beautiful plates that have been sent me and doing designs with them. What did you guys think of the review that I put up yesterday? Because um, they like the thumbnail is it was really difficult because you know looking at it you could think like that's the image like all in one, but I I was really like I'm not wasn't sure how to I knew like on the video it would show off putting it all on the one pop stick all the different designs but um, I don't know <clears throat> it would be nice to know what you guys thought. So this one is a bit more of a subtle um, likeness, but you can see like the swirls do go in opposite directions. So yes, so I just love these plates. <clears throat> it was so difficult choosing six because they were all amazing, um, <clears throat> but I'm really happy with the ones that I've got and they just really stamp awesome. So I hope you're in enjoying these reviews. I hope the fact that you enjoy them, that I do the videos separately, so you can like, you're pretty much getting every uh, item swatched. So it gives you an idea of how the plate is. So these are the end looks. Absolutely beautiful. I think the first swatch I did is my favorite image of this plate. I really hope you guys like it. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see my final review of these plates. And thank you so much for coming and watching. Bye.